starting with some simple interest. We have two types of interest and the first one is called simple interest. Now this is a simple version of interest so it's actually very easy. So have a look. Now in this diagram it shows you a one, two, three year period and within that period we have a principal of hundred dollars. Okay, principal is the initial amount. Okay, so I have an initial value which is the value that I have at the very beginning of the period, which is $100, okay? And it says that interest payments are 50%. Okay, we'll assume that it's 50% per annum, which means per year. If it's 50% per annum, what's 50% of $100? Simply $50, isn't it? So in the first period, we pay $50 of interest. And in the second, second period, second year, we pay $50 as well, and that same applies for the third year. Okay, so simple interest basically means we're paying a fixed amount of interest per period. Okay, so that's basically what it's about. Now what I'm going to show you is a simple formula, which is I equals to P times R times N, so PRN, and I is the interest, P is the principal value or the initial value, okay, so the value that we start with, R is the interest rate, and interest rate is not always per annum, it could be per month or per quarter, so you've got to keep an eye on that one. And N is the number of terms or number of periods. In this year, it's three year period, okay, three terms. So that's basically what it is. It's a simple formula, so I'm hoping you guys can memorize it straight away. Let's try some questions now. I'm going to start with an example. It says, calculate the amount of simple interest I earned at the end of the term. If $2,000 is invested for 10 years at 6.5% per annum. Okay, so it says we need to calculate the simple interest. All we need to know is our formula, I equals to PRN. So I need all those values. So I'm going to start with P, which is our $2,000 that we start with. This is the principal initial value, so it's $2,000. Our R, which is the rate, is going to be 6.5%. Okay, 6.5%, I'll just put over 100 so I can calculate. 6.5% is 0 0.065 as a decimal. I'll just work with a decimal because it's just easier to work with. So you should be able to know how to convert that one. Now, number of per uh, periods or terms is going to be simply 10 years. Okay, so it's very easy. And all I need to do now is put it into my I equals to PRN formula. So P is 2000, R is 0 0.065, or you can simply put 65, 6.5%, sorry, and then N is 10, okay? Multiply all together, or just put it into your calculator, and you should get $1,300. And that's just pretty much it. So really, really easy, isn't it? So we'll try some questions related to this. Question one says, calculate the amount of simple interest I earned at the end of the term. If $12,000 is invested for five years at 9.5% per annum. Basically, it's the same question as the previous example, it's just the numbers are a little bit different. So it's your turn. Tell me what the values of the I equals to PRN formula. I can tell you that P, which is the principal value, is $12,000. R, the rate, is 9.5%, or as a decimal, I'm going to write 0 0.095. Okay? And N, which is the number of terms or periods, is going to be five years. Okay, so it's just a matter of getting the right numbers from the question. Okay, so that's all it is to it. Now I've got my PRN, put it into my formula, I equals to PRN. So I, which is the interest, is going to be P, $12,000 times 0 0.095 times five years. Just multiply it or put it into your calculator and you should get $5,700. Okay. Again, very simple, because it's a simple interest. So, I've got question one, let's move on. Okay, question two. It says, calculate the amount of simple interest I earned at the end of the term if $2,500 is invested for three months at 4.5% per annum, correcting to the nearest cent. Okay, again, very, very similar question. So, we'll keep our same pattern. P is our principal value that we're investing. So $2,500. R, the rate is simply 4.5%, or as a decimal, it's simply 0 0.045, okay? Um, N, which is the number of terms, is three months. 
Okay, but see what I'm doing here. I'm going to divide it by 12. For those who are wondering why, have a look guys. Our rate is in per annum, which means per year. Per year. It's a yearly rate. But our period is given in terms of months. It's very important for you to keep the same units, otherwise you get incorrect answer. So what you're going to do is convert the three months to years, okay, to match the units. So three months is three over twelfth of a year, isn't it? So I'm going to make that into three over twelve since there's twelve months in a year. So simplify that to one over four, a quarter of a year. Okay, so instead of three, I'm going to be using a quarter, okay? So I've got my PRN, put it into your formula, I equals to PRN, so P equals to the $2,500, rate is the 0.045 or just the 4.5%, and N, not three months, but one fourth or quarter. Okay, and that's just it. So the only different thing was the months that you have to convert. Now calculate that and you should get $28.125, just round it up to the nearest cent. So I'm going to make that 28.13. Okay, so that's pretty much it. The only tricky part was this part. Okay, so that's what you're going to keep an eye on. Okay, I'm going to go through an example because this is going to be a bit of a different type of question. It says calculate the total amount, okay, of $5,000 for 10 years at simple interest rate of 5.5% per annum. Now I underlined total amount, whereas the previous questions we're looking for the interest, simple interest, this time we're looking for the total amount. Now for those who are wondering what's the difference, interest is just the interest that we charge on top of your principal value. Total amount is interest plus your principal value. Okay, so when we borrow some money or we invest some money, we have interest, but we also still have that principal value on top. Okay, so interest is the value that we're adding or charging on top of that principal value. So the total amount is principal plus interest. You have to remember that. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, determining what my PRN is. So P is simply the $5,000 that we started off with. R, which is the rate, is our 5.5% or 0.055 as a decimal. And number of terms, N, is simply 10 years. And we don't have to do any converting because it's in per annum and years, it's all the same units. Okay, so first of all, let's calculate the interest by putting it into our I equals to PRN formula. I have $5,000 times the 5.5% times the 10. Just put that into a calculator, you should get 2,750. Now that is just the interest, okay? Now when we're looking for total amount, what did I say? principal value plus the interest earned. Okay, so this interest is only going to be that part. So principal value is $5,000 and plus the interest that we calculated, 2750 that's what we have to add on top. So together it's 7750 That's the final answer. Okay, so see the difference? So you've got to really be careful and read the question really closely. Okay, so let's try a question. Question three says calculate the following of $8,320 for three years at 0.5% per month. Now hopefully some of you can tell me and pick up what we need to take, keep an eye on. This one is three year period but our interest is per month. So it's different units so we have to think about that. So we'll see that in a minute. Okay, for part A, first of all it says we want to calculate the simple interest, simple interest earned. So all we need to do is put it into our formula. So P is our principal value of 8320 Rate is simply our 0.5%. Okay, and change it into a decimal. I just did that. Um, leave your uh, rate, but we're going to change our period, okay, according to the rate. So our period is three years, but because our rate is charged per month, I'm going to say three years is how many months? It's going to be three times 12 months because there's 12 months in a year, so altogether 36 months. So our N, sorry, our N that we're going to be using is going to be 36. 
okay? Don't say 3. So just put it into your formula, i equals to prn, 8320 for p, r is our 0.5%, and then n is our 36 months, okay? So calculate it, you should get that value. That's our simple interest. Now I've got interest. For B, I'm going to show you, I mean, I'm going to calculate the total amount. And most of you guys should tell me, total amount is principal plus the interest, okay? So the, from, the, from the interest that we've got, that we calculated in part A, we must add our principal. Principal is simply 8,320, and our interest is what we got in part A. Add it together, that's what your total amount is. Okay, so because they did it divided into part A and B, it's actually very simple and logical, isn't it? Have a look. Now let's try another question. Question four says calculate the following of $2,460 for 18 months at 2% per quarter. Now, I hope you guys can see what the units are. This one, our rate is per quarter and our period is in months. Now quarter is every three months, so how many three months in a year? Four. Okay, so we're going to divide the year into four, that's basically what quarter is. So I'm going to start off by calculating my simple interest earned. So P, 2460, it's very easy. Rate is our 2%, so we usually just leave the rate it's 2%. And our number of terms is, well, our period is 18 months, but because this is in per quarter, and how many months in a quarter did I say? Three months. Three months is in one quarter. So 18 divided by three makes six quarters. Okay, so I've converted 18 months into six quarters. Okay, so now the rate and the period is in the same unit. So now we can just go ahead and put it into our formula. P equals to 2,460, rate is the 0 0.02, and our period is 6 quarters. And just calculate that, that's what you should get. Okay, so that's our simple interest. Now B, the total amount, okay, you guys all should know that total amount is principal plus the interest. So on top of the, the interest that we calculated, we're going to add our principal. So principal plus the interest that we calculated in part A. Add it up, that's what you should get. That's the total amount. Okay, and see how that is a little bit more than our principal value? So say we're borrowing this much, we have to pay back a little more because we have interest charged. Okay, so that's what you can kind of think of it as. So that's pretty much it. That was simple interest.